SF9 S Dewan has an unexpected reaction to seeing Seo Inguk in Park Bo Young's bedroom in Doom at your service. SF9 S Dewan has an unexpected reaction to seeing Seo Inguk in Park Bo Young's bedroom in Doom at your service. TVN's new drama Doom at your service has released new stills of Park Bo Young, Seo Inguk, and SF9 S Dewan. Doom at your service is a fantasy romance drama about a supernatural being named Myul Mang, Seo Inguk who causes everything he touches to vanish, and a woman named Tak Dong Kyung, Park Bo Young, who puts her life on the line to avoid her fate. When Tak Dong Kyung finds out that she has only 100 days left to live, she angrily calls for the world to be ruined which unexpectedly brings the supernatural Mai Yul Mang, whose name is the literal Korean word for ruin or destruction, to her doorstep. Spoilers The beginning of the drama followed Tak Dong Kyung, who learned that her days were numbered, putting her life at stake as she entered into a contract with Mai Yul Mang. At the end of the second episode, Tak Dong Kyung then gave viewers a shock as she suggested to Mai Yul Mang that they live together. The new stills give a glimpse of a humorous moment in the upcoming episode when Tak Sun Kyung, Da Won, discovers Mai Yul Mang in his sister's room. Mai Yul Mang is comfortably lying on Tak Dong Kyung's bed, and his expression remains cool and calm when her younger brother enters the room. Tak Sun Kyung is frozen in disbelief, while Tak Dong Kyung is beyond flustered. Despite her worry though, Tak Sun Kyung quickly warms up to Mai Yul Mang. In one photo, Tak Sun Kyung holds Mai Yul Mang's hand, and Mai Yul Mang smiles proudly as he grasps the young man's hand. The drama's production team hinted, on May 17, the dangerous and unique cohabitation of Tak Dong Kyung and Mai Yul Mang will begin. Their past connections will also be revealed. Please look forward to their cohabitation that will bring heart-shaking excitement, unexpected laughter, and tension. The next episode of Doom at Your Service airs on May 17 at 9 p.m. KST.